Surprise! Let you take us with you. <laughs> we got it. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Oh my God. Happy anniversary to you. I can <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my God. This is what I have to do to see you. Oh, you have to throw a party. Oh my gosh! Well, I just was. I said to my. I, I said to my son-in-law. Rick thought he had to get dressed up to go out to dinner. And I said, Jill, you had to dress up to go out to dinner. <laughs> Chicago? Doing well. Good. Everything is doing very well. Good. I was there yes, was I? Oh, just for a conference. I was going to look you guys up, but there was absolutely no time. It was in Friday, out on Sunday. Just enough time to take Gabe and uh, Rachel out for dinner and yeah. attend the conference. But next time, if I get to stay any time in Chicago, we'll look you guys up. Yeah, we would love to go out to dinner with you and Gabe and Rachel. Absolutely. Or town or something Absolutely. Like that. That I, will, I will try and make a plan of that. Because we're, we're not far from that at all. Okay, you know, good. Like mile. Yeah, and the only problem I had last time was, it was the drive-in from Detroit. When, of course, it's easier to drive in now than to take a plane. I know. Because it's such a pain in Not at all. And we were going to come last night and we... Nobody called me. Oh, actually, it would have taken you twice as long. I knew everybody said it. She mails me pictures. She leaves me messages. Is that you? Oh my God. See, you were into it. That's really nice. Linda. Me. Angela. Did you get pictures from Maureen? John, do you want to spray them? Oh, no. Oh, look at this. I got this video. Are they good? She was. Karen, do you like No, I don't. No, you do. She was. She Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Multiculturalism is alive and well. I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. I just want to know what you're eating there. Yeah. That's fantastic. Does it meet your standards for a restaurant quality? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I see you have your requisite bag of better made potato chips there. That's right, which I haven't cracked yet. Uh huh. They do that. Okay. And um, I really haven't got my uh, can of Verner's, you know, but I'll, oh, I'll find something. Yeah. Right. yeah, I'll have to bring you a glass of Verner's then. Okay, here we go. This is manna. Okay. Detroit manna. Yeah. Bad boy. <laughs> Time, times 35 that tells a story you've kept alive of Karen and Rick. My, how time passes quick to celebrate a love that thrives. <laughs> so we had people try and be creative and think of 35 things. Uh -huh. And if sure. you weren't feeling creative, yeah, you know, no big deal. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Make a list. <laughs> <laughs> so, should we... Well, where's... Do you want me to bring them up? Sure. One by one? We can, yeah. Why don't you go? Or do people want to bring them up if they want to see a picture of us? Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Oh! Oh, look at that! Big bug. <laughs> for a while. Where'd you go? Okay. Well, we should make some seats here, you guys. Let's hear our songs. This is for you. This is scary. But if... <laughs> this is my brother, Michael, in case somebody, anybody doesn't know. This could be a scary gift. I have to open it. See what I want to share. Uh, Where is he, Bob? Here, you can move there. Thank you. You all set? Yep, I got it. Thank you. Okay, so this is a fortune-telling fish. It tells if you're in love 
or if you're indifferent or jealous or fickle. And I had to think about late, these two Michael. guys for that because I was just a young kid one night when I was walking home and Karen and Rick were in the front of our house in a car parked. And I, can't, I can't say what I saw. <laughs> and so everybody gets one of these tonight. We'll pass them around. If anybody wants to pass them out. They're, they're, they're fortune telling fish, okay? Now, you know what this means? <laughs> Betty, cut you off. <laughs> yeah, this, this says the numbers don't lie. Happy 35th, Karen and Rick. On this little thing here, every, if you add these four, it's 35. If you add these four, it's 35. These four, it's 35. These four, it's 35. This corner, all four corners, 35. The center, 35. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, did you figure that out all by yourself? Yeah, I worked all afternoon on that. Oh, and then I brought a, I took this off the internet. These are a bunch of different kind of farts that there are. These are There's about 60 different kind of farts there. Thank you. That's what's scary about having people from every part of your life here. <laughs> you got to learn things you never knew about. Oh, oh, no, I didn't get one. I didn't get all that. It's up to 35, I guess. Unless Jim got one. Four corners. If you run out, we got one. Oh, yeah. You take the fish. You take the fish. Teddy, did you want to go next? Okay. There's a little fish inside the envelope. Okay. You take them out. This is my sister, Patty. Who's next to me? <laughs> There's the maid of honor with okay. the sexy eyes. I have to thank second you. oldest. <laughs> I'm gonna do Karen first. <laughs> oh yes, I do. I have to thank Karen for getting me interested in quilting. So I have you. 35 12 balls. Oh, nice. What does she have? Karen has this thing. 35 what? She can only use clean wash cloths. <laughs> so you have 35. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great because I'm running low. Oh, that is. I can't really have it. Yeah. <laughs> can I really have them? That's right. We've got one whole drawer for oh, wash <laughs> You have covered them. I didn't know that. Okay, sorry, and then I have to thank Rick for painting my house, so I've got you 35 paint chips. <laughs> and all the colors of my house. Oh, that is nice. But then, I got you 35 bags of better maids. Oh. Oh, bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Because you like to dip them in your pot. <laughs> <laughs> or your milk. <laughs> I do oh, you know. Now the youngest of the girls. <laughs> Say again, Betty. <laughs> the youngest of the sisters. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> the youngest here. The youngest here. The youngest of the girls. Uh, here. 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 You didn't tell me to say here. here. Oh. <laughs> Last week, actually, there's eight of us, and my whole family was together for my dad's 80th birthday for the first time in a very But they didn't come to this, did they? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is your sister. When they first said 35 things, I was like, Oh my God, what am I going to do? And then when I started thinking about it, there were so many things I could have done. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I had too much time. Who's got Rick 35 Viagra pills? That's a problem. One thing about Karen and Rick, um, they've always, always opened their house and my family, which has been wonderful. 
Um, on my wedding day, I got dressed at Karen's house. When I had my first baby, we came right from the hospital, from Sinai Hospital, went to Karen's house, and Mary Beth was one of the first people that got to kiss Gabe in our family. I've got a picture of that. Um, when the electricity went out, they sometimes were we stayed longer than they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> we had food loss one year and had to have our house exterminated. We stayed at Karen and Rick's house. Um, we lost our electricity when my young, when my middle daughter was born. We were there for about a week, which really overstayed our limits. So, for all those times, you guys. A flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for all those times, I have 35. Shampoos, conditioners, <laughs> and garden soap. I don't know what they are. That's how she travels. Every day. <laughs> how many hotel names are on them? 35? The other thing, with, with, as far as families go, um, being part of their lives, we've spent summer vacations together, which have been wonderful for for all of us. She's got the Every cheers. summer having those weeks up at Lake Louisville. Is that what you did? No, I couldn't find any. So mm -hmm. what I have are chocolate covered oh, cherries. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to understand, cherries are for Traverse City where we right. vacation. Chocolate is because, I don't know if any of you know this, but Karen <laughs> hides candy in her car and all over her house. <laughs> 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 So the chocolate is for her, but these are from Royal Oak, from Gail's Chocolate, Ooh. because they're now going to be living in Royal Oak. Um, and I think that's one of the things about Karen and Rick, they, they do what they have to do when they need to do it. And even though moving is hard, they're doing that because it's the time to do it. So that's for that. But be, even though Karen likes sugar, <laughs> no. Rick likes salt. And then one more thing because I <laughs> every year my whole married life we've gone over to Karen and Rick's house to decorate their tree because we didn't have one and it helped keep my Christmas tradition alive for me, which was very important. Um, and I tried to find pencil because <laughs> Because <laughs> she's the only one that likes it. Because I love it. And I hang it one thing at a time for hours, but I couldn't get it. But I do have hooks for ornaments. Which 35. means you still are coming over. <laughs> Those are from the kids. Thank you for all the good Thank you. Her, her card Bravo. says, happy anniversary. I finally figured out why you two have stayed faithful all these years. You have to realize I'm a public health nurse. Fear of herpes. <laughs> None of those shampoos were stolen, were they? <laughs> energy went into this. Us girls compiled together. It's a little history of you and us and our family and our friends and relatives and community. <laughs> so Katie and Meg. Um, this started out as a cheerio. Secretively. Box. Yeah went through all of your um, photographs at your house oh <laughs> and color Xeroxed them and sent them to me in Chicago and we made you a book. Why did you do this? <laughs> Snuck so, in your house. Okay. Well, you were you know, I've been hanging out a lot. <laughs> now I know why you've been busy, man. Wow, isn't that ever nice. Oh, how pretty. But I think I Once speak... Once upon a time. I think I speak oh, for the three of us in saying that um, you have been wonderful models and living examples of what it means to be a loving partner and a caring parent, um, and we we thank you for everything. Uh, so Bravo! Thank you. Bravo! Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. This is a great thing to celebrate. <laughs> thank you so much. Love you. Did you hear what Meg said? And she did put all the pictures back. <laughs> yeah, so you wouldn't be suspicious. Well, oh, no, every time we had a graduation, we'd take them out and they never got back in the album. Oh, that's rude. Thank you so much for You're welcome. Some pictures. Some songs. of these we look really good. <laughs> you look pretty good tonight. Really good. Yeah, I told a few people, uh, well, it's a few years ago, one of the guys I golfed with, uh, uh, Boulier, remember Boulier? We're golfing one night, and I'm just about ready to hit the ball. You guys will do anything to screw up your stroke. <laughs> he said, is Karen your second wife? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He 
Jess said she looked so much younger than you. <laughs> 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 really yeah. right. That's a Paul Boy in there. Oh, this is really nice. I'm around. You probably all love to see our family. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Really nice. Thank you. So much. And just to let you know, we were looking at an album before the, the other time you were in the state of grace. <laughs> <laughs> the older pictures actually came out better than the original the newer pictures. ones. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> that is fun. Here's a scheme with Robbie and Jerry Burke. Five years is a long time. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Just <laughs> get greedy, Karen. Who's <laughs> 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 Yeah, you got guns. Bogart. Yeah. This is one of the teachers that Rick has known for over 32 years. They've been playing poker <laughs> for 30 to almost 32 years. I just think that's amazing. And they don't talk. They only play poker. <laughs> about their families or lives, they play poker. <laughs> hey, it's a guy thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's to do at poker, Gary. Now comes the plane. We can have plans. Well, yeah, we go back. There was a fellowship of teachers from Pell that started in 1969. We played flag or sandlot football against the kids, and when we got too old for that, we settled for playing cards and golf. But Rick has always exemplified a loving father. Karen's been a great wife. Uh, but you wouldn't I, know that because you don't talk about it. <laughs> I, know, I know over the years, out of familial necessity, Rick would occasionally miss a golf game or a card game. And I and I know that uh, Karen put on missing posters for me. Right. <laughs> right. So for the culturally deprived term. You get a lifetime supply of ammo when you retire and can play golf. Oh, 35 Spalding oh, Top Flights. Oh, oh. And uh, for Karen, a virtuous wife whose price is far above rubies, whose husband's heart is safely trusted in because you'll do him no harm and he'll always profit from you. And uh, for you, dear, 35 recipes which you might pass on to your daughters. <laughs> and a card from the Andy Bandy. Okay. Thanks. Well, thank Thanks. you very much. Well. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. This is Muscat. <laughs> Mary and Pat Muscat are longtime friends and neighbors. Um, Pat was the head of the um, Mounted Division of the Detroit Police Department for a long, long time, and we used to have the Got best me out of a lot of trouble. <laughs> best of times in, during the um, Rosedale June day when he would come by and our kids were little and it was always, there's Mr. Muscat on the horse. It was pretty exciting. Well, I read someplace that people that work with their hands truly enjoy life. And this is definitely two people who do a lot of wonderful mm -hmm. things with their hands. So, for your new house, for all some right. flower seeds and for Rick some nails because you'll probably need them some point along. That's great. We do need a new garden. The, the house that we're buying has a swimming pool, a above ground swimming pool in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Really? And we asked them if they could remove it, and they can't believe we don't want it there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Rick said what we'll do is get compost and make that area the garden. We'll just sure, add to it. Because he's getting lazy about digging new gardens. <laughs> <laughs> I went out golfing one time, and uh, it, it was this annual Miller Low Life that we played out on the Monroe. I can't play this year because they picked a weekend that I'm going to be away, but I come back. And I thought you dug a grave for me. <laughs> about the size of this bench, and it was about two feet deep. And I started wondering, but she said it was a new place, and we were supposed to put new uh, dirt in it and stuff. But 
<laughs> I could only dig when he wasn't there. So I waited till he went away for a weekend. And but you mounted them and they look like plats. We had about six people out here. <laughs> it got a little scared and they all just kind of became one little mound. <laughs> one big mound. <laughs> Janet Marie and Tim have uh, were neighbors of ours for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I still remember when they moved into Rosedale Park. And I remember Tim's 40th birthday party and got the little beanie with the little propeller on top. Kiss me, I'm Polish. Well, Jan's from Ohio, but it's all right. <laughs> um, Mary Beth mentioned what a fine example you two have been, and you have been to me as well, um, of people who practice love in their lives on a daily basis and make it so evident to the people around you. Um, when I think of Rick and Karen, I think of love and all the ways they express it in their daily lives. This card contains 35 of my personal reflections on their expression of love. Um, and some of the first ones are Rick's warm and ready smile when he greets you, Karen's generous praise for other people's accomplishments, Mary Beth, Kate, <laughs> Meg, Zachary, <laughs> Nicholas, Grace, and it goes on and on about Thank all you. the things where they oh, practice. Nice. Really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am impressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bravo. Now you're going to love this one. <laughs> Tim thought of it. Over the years, uh, Karen and I have had many interesting discussions. <laughs> I guess we could call them discussions. Some yes, people would, would call them arguments, but no, we would call them discussions. discussions. A lot of them have to do with food. <laughs> so, Excuse me, when you discussed this with me, you did not call it a discussion or an argument. You said, Karen used to bust your chops. Well, <laughs> I did say that. You so, too? You two are being laughing uproariously. You too? Oh, yeah. so, she does it to you guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> me too? Wait till you hear what it's about. I That's why you're getting potato chips right I congratulate you on what I would like to refer to as 35 years of fat-free wedded harmony. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, try, I tried hard, but... Well, I know. And now we find out she's been that sleeping. That was a very cool story. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Poor Rick not hasn't candy had anything tasteful to eat in 35 years. <laughs> 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 it's unbelievable. So anyway, so in honor of that, I thought maybe now after 35 years you loosen up a little bit. So in this really handy dandy bag, I have, I was looking for a pound of lard, but I couldn't find it. Oh I got you 35 pats of real butter. <laughs> Individually wrapped. <laughs> well, I'm thinking maybe you'd be kind enough to share them. I, I thought maybe it would be like one pat a year for the next 35 years. <laughs> that might work out. And I just wanted to say to you, remember, Karen, the flavor is in the pat. I'm not sharing these anyway. I know. Yeah, they're going to melt pretty soon, so you better get them in your do you want me to open it? There's a duplicate of the card. It smells medicinal. It smells medicinal. We can... We can, we can sit It's yours, honey. We can, oh. oh, no. You know, I said it smelled like alcohol. Well, well, wait, let me read it. Oh, oh no. Yes. We consider Karen and Rick to be our close friends. During the more than 25 years we've known them, they have repeated, repeatedly begged us to consider them to be our best friends. <laughs> the major impediment to this request, quite honestly, is the food thing. <laughs> Out of love, respect, and friendship, and without complaint, we have put in our mouths, chewed, and swallowed the following. That's enough, Meg. Brownies made without sugar and flour. And Betty's laughing. Cake, cake frosting with a paste of plain yogurt, but no sugar. <laughs> 
bacon made from soy and dog treats? <laughs> Salmon patties? <laughs> Cookies made without shortening? Guacamole made from green pea? <laughs> Can you imagine choking that stuff down and saying, gee, that was delicious? <laughs> God intended men and women to grow up to be carnivores. <laughs> When's the last time Karen and Rick invited you to join them for greasy ground sirloin patties off the grill? <laughs> when was the last time you heard Karen scream, cholesterol be damned? <laughs> I mean, so what if they're both skinnier and healthier than the rest of us? As a tribute to their many years of wedded bliss, our gift is 35 samples of what many people eat three times a week. If you ask nice, they might share. Spam. We thought it yeah. smelled like alcohol, but... <laughs> but it is spam. If you're brave enough. Don't let points you get ready. And instead of hamburger, I put bulgur in. And you know, bulgur is a grain that's very good for you. It's a wheat grain that you use a lot of fish. And, I, and they, they sat there and, and I kept saying, isn't this good? And they were going, that's yeah, really good. Like, it took like one bite in a big glass of water. I thought it was really delicious. It's kind of like oatmeal with ketchup. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. It was awful. Raw, raw oatmeal with ketchup. All right, that's enough about the food. When she made chili. <laughs> and no more food stories. This is my good friend, Carol McCullough, who um, has been a nurse with me for a very long time. And we've shared a job. They called us frickin' frack when we were doing the HIV work together. But if you can imagine these two middle-aged ladies going into um, lots of places where middle-aged ladies don't go to test for HIV, um, like gay bars and, and just interesting places where people hang out. Yeah. She got into that. I didn't get into the leather. Oh, yeah. My leather is my hangout. <laughs> I learned a whole lot of things name, there. Right, Carol? I told my husband name. he can be replaced. <laughs> I haven't known Karen and Rick for 35 years of all this time, but I, but I kind of miss Rick's overalls. Karen doesn't like it, but I think he looks real sexy in his little um, <laughs> Farmer, John. Farmer John overalls. And she, she's <laughs> <laughs> standing, right? He used okay. to cut the grass in these overalls. <laughs> Rick and Karen, you are special people indeed, always ready to answer the call for anyone in need. You are both such a special joy for everyone to know. You don't hesitate to let your love for each other show. The soft manner and pleasant smiles that you always enjoy have brought to many hearts great and unspeakable joy. Karen is a master gardener who shows no so much caring. Rick is a master builder who never gets tired of sharing. Your numerous acquaintance have gained from your expertise. I am sure that all of your networking has left many fond memories. Gifted with many talents, you were blessed right from the start. In the civil rights movement, we can say you haven't played a valuable part. Rick a caring teacher, caring a nurse extraordinaire, both our vital roles, serving God, family, and community, have always been your goals. I am thankful that you have been blessed. You with 35 years of pleasure. May God grant more abundant joy according to his heavenly treasure. Happy 35 years. Yeah, oh, that's really nice. And she came and hung out at our house. <laughs> it must have been two hours on Thursday night. And never said a never word. Said a word. Well, no, the thing is, she got her invitation invitation the day before she was going out to dinner with you yeah. that Thursday night. She oh. called me. I'm like, no, Carol, don't say anything. She's like, Katie, I'm going to try really hard. <laughs> 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 Thank you for putting up with <laughs> 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 Jim, we have
have known them as long as we've been married. Not quite. Not well, quite. okay. <laughs> Betty and I met in the back of church when she had just moved to Detroit with her brand new baby, and I had a brand new baby, Mary Beth, and so um, we got to be very good friends and supported each other through many years of child rearing <coughs> and life. And there were a number of things I was going to bring, like Coke <laughs> bottles that Karen and I could make angels out of because we were so desperate to get away from our children, we used to try to make Coke angels. And then I was going to buy... Not like, you know, not crap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just using I the said bottles. Coke bottles. <laughs> I said Coke okay. okay. Then I was going to buy... <laughs> then I wanted to get some disposable diapers because Karen's been known to use the diaper when she gets pulled over for the police for driving. And I didn't want to find 25 diapers that had been used. And then we were going to find um, 25 or 35 wonderful things that my boys are still in love with Rick for, which were a little snap. Because <laughs> that he brought to the house. We left on the kitchen counter. Because <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> they didn't work. And then we were going to find 35 cherry pits because we spent 31 wonderful years together on vacation. So when we couldn't do any of those things, we found 35 pictures. That span, um, well, the second year we got to know Karen and Rick, and it starts over here, and we were sort of hoping people would add a few comments. We started a few, but it starts over here. Kind things. <laughs> it started over here with Mary Beth and Patrick. Well, no, it's actually Mary Beth and Karen. I could have found 400 pictures of our four five children, six children, excuse me, um, but I came up with 35 pictures. So Jim, Our three kids help? grew up like brothers and sisters, you know, for their whole lives. And we vacationed, we lived ten houses from each other, and we even swam naked together. Yes. Oh, oh, when oh. we were younger, and yeah. we drank a couple gallons of wine at night. Get a pool next door. We do. It's all the pools all the time. Bravo. Okay. Katie. Oh Katie is a very old friend too from no, nursing no, school. Long time friend. We met the friend. day that we started Long nursing time. school. That's right, we did. And you too. And we met you at the same time. Right. I met that, you at the same right. time. In fact, Rick Katie gave me a stupid. note to give to Karen for their date. Really? Yes. I don't remember. Wow. Really? He was in the hospital, this little so cute walking around in his white scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we all love gardening. Obviously, yeah. we all love gardening. They're beautiful. So there's 35 flowers from my garden. Thank you. From uh, she lives on an estate nice in Milford that has 35 million flowers, I too. <laughs> Where's Roger? There's Roger. Right there. There's Roger. This is Roger Miners, Katie's husband. Oh, look at more. And this is Mary Rackowski. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, and I see we have some of the same ones in our Well, you know, these, these are... Oh, Mary lives on an estate in North Rosedale. <laughs> 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 these are, the, um, Karen and Rick's house was on the home, uh, home and Garden Tour in North, North Rosedale last Saturday. And these are 35 flowers from Rosedale Park. She stole them. It took me a long time to steal. And here's Chris. Chris is a hockey player. He might be going to Europe for all I know. Right? Mary and I walk every morning about 5.35, and so we get to talk. I don't know how we talk, but we do. We talk every morning on our walk. As we go around the neighborhood, up to Newtons for a donut. Stealing, no, I didn't steal it. This is Bonnie. I, I was just going in here with the flower thing. This is Bonnie Head Miller, who also went to nursing school with me a few long years ago. And I'm not one of her old friends. I'm just one of her longest <laughs> long friends. <laughs> Katie, where's your mouth? Right here. That's an old friend. A long and she friend. lives in Rosedale Park, and I drive by her house every night on the way home from work, and I know exactly where these are. In your yes. Garden. Well, they're they're not they're not. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not <laughs> I had extra window boxes of these around that I just didn't get around to plant. That's all. You know, one of those things you don't weed, you don't plant one year, some years. So you have to read for your new house. Yeah. Sure. It's not going to hurt. An anniversary prayer for a special couple. May God keep you happy always. May he answer your prayers and be there when you need him. And may he always bless you for being the wonderful couple you are. Congratulations. Bye. Rick and Karen, I couldn't decide on 35 carrots, 35 radishes, 35 heads of cauliflower, broccoli, beans, oh, apples, oranges, etc. For all the food co-op, oh God, oh, right. <laughs> For all the food co-op years we were involved, we had a we wonderful food co-op. We used to cut cheese on our dryer. <laughs> In our neighborhood, where 
people oh, really? ordered bags and lots of people That's here right. were part of that where we shopped at Eastern Market and got really good prices yeah. and we get the weirdest things that we'd never seen before but we ended We're up sent. trying. Oh, Robbie. Ga Gail no, called me. Robbie. Oh, Robbie. Oh, Gail called me. She goes, what is this? Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Gail, it's an uh, eggplant. <laughs> How do you cook it? That's great. Yeah. That's great. Thanks. I'm going to put those back in there. That's, that's a good memory. I thought you could use these. Oh, yeah. And I just won't let them move. So that'll be even better. Yeah. <laughs> but there were literally dozens and dozens and dozens of beautiful young ladies. Mecca for a guy. Well, despite that, Dan, um, what was with the opening line? Yeah, let's hear Does your everybody opening know line. the story of how my parents met in no. an elevator at St. Joe's? Oh, dear. And they're standing there, you know, the door is closed. My dad's like, do you smell something funny? God. <laughs> I think these shoes make my feet stink. <laughs> <laughs> and despite that, I thought you were really at 35 minutes. I got off the elevator and I said, Phew! Because we are so good. Thank you. 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 Thank this Look gift doesn't have a lot to do with 35 years, because I've not known you that long. Please. I'm the outlaw. I'm Jeffrey's mom. Yeah, this yeah, is this Cherise. Is... And um, I've only known them for about, what, four or five, five years, years, I guess. But well, I've really grown, not just a grown to outlaw, love you, just like everybody else. So anyway, here's a little something for your oh, garden. Oh, great, Cherise. Cherise found the house for us. Yeah. yeah. And Cherise had to literally talk us into going to back to see this house, because <laughs> We saw it the first time, and it was only on the market a couple of days. And when we got into the house, the young woman's on the phone saying they're bringing an offer tonight. So I said, so "Let's we go." It I don't have sold. time to look. So she calls back, and, and about, and she's very nice. She's very low key, and she said, "I think we should look at that house again." I was crabby. I was tired. It was the after work. I said, "I don't want to." <laughs> no, I don't want to. No one First time. them to come for dinner. She's a wonderful And they came in and Karen said, you know, I have something in the car that I really need to put in your refrigerator. Oh, help me though. So I said, okay, that's fine. This is when you were just engaged, I think. No, so, I don't think we're engaged yet. We're so And she comes like with her <laughs> 10 or 15 vials of, what was it, HIV <laughs> positive blood. No, it wasn't. No, potentially. Potentially. <laughs> to put in my refrigerator. So I so thought, like, well, mercy okay. <laughs> you know, I have to say that I, I was, I was really worried. I was testing at a bar in Pontiac that Sunday. Oh, okay. And I, <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, right. I'm <laughs> testing what? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's 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 she ran into my golf buddies. <laughs> you know what? It was a really hot day, and I don't think she wanted to leave it in the car. <laughs> I couldn't leave it in my car. You know. And so. I thought, I don't even know this woman, but she looked nice. <laughs> Thing, you know, I'll just spin it down because I had to, you know, separate the blood. It was, and she was looking at me going, well, that's okay. And I said, it's in plastic bags. So every time I opened the fridge to get something out for dinner, there was. Anyway, it was You never said it. I never said a word. That was just funny. It was my son-in-law, Rick Joseph. Our first son-in-law. That's right. Yes. Um, I thought one uh, one outlaw could follow another here. <laughs> um, no outlaw. Uh, there you go. I have known Rick and Karen for, um, it's 13 years, it'll be 13 years. Wow. 13 and a half years. And uh, it was interesting, the first time I met um, Rick and Karen was in an environment much like this. It was friends and family all around. It was Easter time of mm. 1989. And I walked in the door, and uh, there was Rick. And the first thing he said to me was, 
Richard Michael Joseph. I'm Richard Michael Joseph Seafelt. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and, uh, that was the that was um, a, a wonderfully auspicious beginning to to an amazing relationship that I've had with Rick and Karen. That sort of transcends um, just sort of a of a son-in-law to father and father-in-law and mother-in-law relationship. And last night I wrote out some um, some words. I I. Uh, didn't get a chance to print this out on the computer because I don't have a printer at home uh, <laughs> that's connected. But uh, what I did was is I wrote out 35 words that embody uh, Rick and Karen for me. And what I did was is I, I found that there were sort of like five, five categories and then there were words that are related. So I'll just read them. The first is kindness. And I think um, that you both represent, you embody, you are... Um, Active listeners, you are you are commitment, tolerance, investment, forgiveness, and patience. Um, generosity. You both are, are selflessness, indulgence, support, dinner out, <laughs> gifting, and the biggest, best Christmas stockings you will ever get in any family anywhere. And uh, even with a tangerine at the tip of the sock. It's really yeah, amazing. So yeah. I think Rick and Karen spent more on their Christmas stockings than they did on gifts for the entire family. That's my mother's influence. It's always uh, wonderful. Um, as far as social justice, I think of uh, you embody, you represent, you are peace, nonviolence, dignity, uh, you are a living in representation of Dr. Martin Luther King's vision and dream. Uh, you are Detroit, and you are you are vocation. You know, and as someone else mentioned, you both um, you both uh, give give of yourselves and you give your all in, in service to to other people. And um, I, I really emulate that in both of you. Um, balance, creativity, challenge, newness, emotional health physical health and lifelong learning. You both um, continue to do new and different things and challenge yourselves every day and that's an inspiration to me. And finally, love. Children, um, you as children yourselves of, of your own of your own parents as, as siblings to your brothers and sisters, or at least your sisters. Um, <laughs> that are here tonight. Um, as partners to each other, as parents to your children, as uh, parents to me and as, and as grandparents to our children. And um, my father passed away um, one month after Mary Beth and I were married. And so um, although he left, um, I truly gained two new parents in Rick and Karen. And they have been for me um, such wonderful people and have offered so much to me. Um, that I could never have imagined and really enriched my lives in so many ways. So, uh, God bless you both, and congratulations on 35 years. Bravo. started working together, oh thank you very much, at Pelham. And now he's an avid golfer, and he shoots about 35 most of the time for nine. What I? Five. <laughs> thank you, sir. This is another right. poker player. That's right. We finally got four of them together in one room, and we took a picture after all these 30-some years. They're now to play Follow the Queen, <laughs> Elevator, you know, um, different things like that. Actually, Al was instrumental in getting Rick to Palestine in the um, 70s, right? Well, Lebanon. 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 That's right. Back in the 80s. That's right. All right. Let's <laughs> right. hear it for the cook. That's right. Hey. Yay! Yeah. All I did was turn things. She's the cook. Give her this is Jeffrey, our, our second son-in-law. All right. It's going to be short and sweet. Okay. There's two things we talked about tonight is marriage and food, so I'm going to comment on both. <laughs> First thing is that Kate and I have been married for three years and it's been very nice. But it wouldn't have happened unless it was for Lafayette Coney Island. Oh, right. That's right. There's a reason for why we had Lafayette tonight. And you guys don't understand it, but I'm telling you again, for the people that know the story, I'm just going to rehash it, just close your ears, we're going to do it again. <laughs> Karen was out of town, Kate was out of town. That's what he has his high fat weekends. On a Wednesday Ooh. night. I'm out of town. 
And basically what happened was is I called him up and I said, hey, you know, we need to go out to dinner because we got nothing to do. And obviously had pre military you know, <laughs> conditions in order because it was November and I already bought the ring and it was time for me to ask permission. Uh -oh. So we went to Lafayette and we had two on one heavy onions, <laughs> burners or orange or whatever. And it was cold. And he put his jacket on and I said, Well, you need to take your jacket off because we got to talk about some things and about how much I love your daughter and why I want your permission. So, when you go to bed at night and you're all like eating this delicious food from Lafayette, know that there's a lot of significance there. <laughs> yeah, okay? Because I had nothing to do, he had nothing to do, but he didn't know it until he put his coat on. <laughs> because I had to ask for his permission because there's no way in hell I was going to marry Katie without his permission. And I'm so glad. <laughs> Great sons here. No problem. <laughs> the other thing I just want to say was I'm glad you all came as you know the co trio quadruple hosts of this party. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight and I'm glad you all could make it. And uh, it's a really special night. It is. And I'm glad uh, I had the opportunity to meet some people I've never met before. So thanks Thank for coming. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think all of you know me well enough. Diane to. Klein, Rick Klein, the longtime friend from, uh, well, his story used to always be we ate, uh, we went to different schools, but we ate lunch together. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we okay. met in a, high school. Well, we oh. met just after high school. And uh, we've become um, <clears throat> friends. Unfortunately, we don't see each other like we should or we would like to because of everybody's lifestyle and um, family commitments and work and whatever. But uh, I just, I can't uh, compete with uh, what Rick just said, your son-in-law. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I will third. <laughs> you second it and I third it because um, I know you mean a lot to Rick and I know Rick, you're all a lot. Mm -hmm. okay. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. It's interesting too because their daughter married a young man whose mother taught with Rick. I mean, isn't that just how small the world is? Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Oh, okay. So what's in the bag? <laughs> 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 no chocolate, I hope. Oh. Oh, oh, sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Is it like a chocolate <laughs> 35 cups of tiramisu. <laughs> it's Jordan almonds, 50 bucks. That was it. We like, yeah, Jeff and I love Jordan almonds. You want a pair of scissors? Get Use your teeth. I used to always carry that oh, oh, sugar. Here's Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't we figure were... out all the phone calling. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to see your business. I and I were talking today too to my dad because um, none of us sent them a, uh, an anniversary card. <laughs> like big schmucks, but now you know why. <laughs> but but uh, Mary Beth and Kate and Meg, this was really really wonderful, and we know how much and, you went out. And Rick and Jeff and everybody else that, that did it. Uh, I know. I just Karen and I have. Uh, Weathered our storms. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like Jack Benny used to say, you know, uh, one of our, the early things we said in our life was we'd never go to bed angry. You know, um, yeah, one time we stayed up for four days. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, back uh, when, when our first daughter got married, uh, one of the gifts that Rick and Mary Beth got was, uh, was a plaque from... Uh, from a friend of Rick's uh, and a priest, and, and it was uh, this, uh, the prayer of uh, Francis uh, Assisi. And, uh, and you know, I think that's one of the things you need for a successful marriage, you know, just uh, 
to understand as to be understood, to love as to be loved. You know, those are the things you have to work on. And uh, we're sure still working on it. You know? <laughs> We've had, you know, this is a lifelong been a, thing. A very interesting year for us. I mean, just like, you know, why we're moving and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, just uh, some of the things that that uh, have come up. You know, that uh, have changed our lives, but it's not changing our love. As a matter of fact, I think our love's kind of growing with each other a bit, you know, so uh, yeah, you're a nice lady to be nice. <laughs> You're the best. Thank you very much. You're all wonderful friends. I just want to introduce a couple people that have some out of the house. <laughs> Especially during power outages. Sure. I don't think. Here we are at the breakfast table on Christmas with the legendary kielbasa and obligatory bottle of Heinz ketchup. No other brand will do. When you're done with something, Zachary, you give it to mommy, okay? No throwing anything. Black rye bread, grapefruit, and eggs. Bon appetit. Zachary. Mmm. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Zachary, you What's the rule? Is it like five seconds? <laughs> It keeps getting longer. The only thing that'll get out of is a ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> is he vegetarian? There's no dog here. <laughs> Come here and give your Uncle Tom a hug. Oh, let's be careful with that. Maybe we'll put Hi, sweetie, kiss the garbage can. Tell me what you got from <laughs> Sam. Who's this? Who's this? Oh, I'm going to go. Oh, who's he talking? I'm going to go. To the mailbox. Are we saying hello, Abuela? Abuela. How are you doing? Zachary! Sam! Come here! Oh, what do you start with? Potatoes? Come here, let me see you! Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes to all the stuff. You want me to start with potatoes? No, it's gotten taller. Oh, alright. Zach, you know what? They're cooked. Yeah, he likes Zachary's mother. Should we do the apple? Do you want to wipe it now? Well, that's the Montessori way. There you go. It is all clean. Now you can eat that. Isn't any good? Good boy. You are the best kitchen helper. Why don't you come home with me? Huh? You will come home with me. I need a kitchen helper. Yeah. Want to play in the water? We can play in the water. I love water. Things in there. You want to wash Maybe those? Maybe give me more potatoes. Mm -hmm. Sure, I can wash them. Where are the seeds? Like a little nice shirt. Seems like a little nice potatoes. Ma, we're going to eat them leftovers. You can leftover. wash them. We're wash taking the leftovers cup. up to the UP. Wash the oh, cup. Okay. We told Linda's uh, dad that wash. we had extra. Boy, what should you think? David's going to take them to work, too, Ma. Oh, you look so good. David you look like so these handsome. potatoes. Yeah. And they're good with ham. Yeah. For our festivities party. Is that tonight? Is that Are we going to crash it? Yeah, if you yeah, want. David wants us to crash it. Well, well, that's the best on our way back from the movies. So, so where are you going to see tonight? We're not sure yet. We have to see what the lady says. Who is that? Did you ever see Emily? Who is that? No. It? Me neither. Yeah. The only one. What's that? That's Christmas. Well, see, we're letting the girls decide. What are you wearing? Well, she's got a very fat hat on. I'll see it. It's supposed to be good. Flowers. Where is it at? The main? The main. Look at this. Oh, you, you know that cousin? Who is that? Hi. Patrick. Where are it's your like CDs? Green oh, oh, French fries. Did you bring Otto Gold? Village no, people? I focused on hey, uh, seasonal who's favorites. That? The Beach that, Boys, that's Phil Spector, right. who's this? This is Al Green, that? and that, The Temptations. That, that, no, uh, right. Smokey Robinson's Christmas that, album? That's the cook. Not that's on CD, I have it on cassette. John the Cook. How are you today, Abuela Ida? <laughs> Well, I'm here. It's good yeah. to be home. That's right. That's all yes. you can ask for. Yeah. Yeah. Good to have everybody here. You good, Linda? You guys are back. My name is Linda. <laughs> What's that? What's oh, here? Let's, we'll have to see. What's in the big bag? Let's open it up. <laughs> oh, there's a bag. bag. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. This is good. Oh, wow. <laughs> he said, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. goodness. Look at that. What a giant it? caillou. Who is he? Who is that? Tell Grammy who that is. What's that? Who, who is that? I want this. Okay, don't drop it. <laughs> well, I didn't see that. Let me see. This is caillou. Who's caillou? Caillou is a little boy. <laughs> 
He's a cartoon character on PBS that Zach likes to watch. Oh, a truck? It looks like an airplane. A taxi? What's this? Uh, looks like a house. How do we open it? From here. Here, start right here. Hey, you. I don't know. We'll have to open it and see. Oh, wow. Ooh, what is that? Zach. Truck? Who, who is that? I never had a truck. Do you have trucks? Who is this? Where's that one we had last night that Linda that you clapped and he danced? Oh, I Muck. Have you heard of Bob the Muck Builder? Muck the On Nickelodeon? I can't imagine why not. It's it nice to keep your agent Oh, I don't think Jeez, somehow Nickelodeon. Is, <laughs> I think I passed Nickelodeon uh, on the way down. from E! Entertainment <laughs> up to... Uh, Oh, VHS. Yeah, VHS. What is it? The wires. VH1, yeah. Gotta get the wires out. I can see you watch it a lot. Come here and take them off. One at a time. Uh, and sometimes What's I watch What's this guy's name? This is the Muck and the Dump Truck. Yeah, it's That's great. It's a great show. It's great. This guy you know what is really good? Is this is Kaiju. How are you? How are you? Are you? How are you? They have some you, really you? good stuff. Oh boy, you're a I mean, I don't watch those so stupid classic Looks games. Looks like he's sitting on but my lap. their profiles of sports figures is really good. I don't know if we get classic. Yeah, you not mean, everybody gets it. You mean you don't watch it's the 1968 uh, yeah, right. World you're Series? Yeah, Lou Brock <laughs> trying to steal home plates? Yeah. Imagine you have quite a few trucks at home. What you doing up at 5 in the morning? I've already, I've already rough. That looks like well, a, that's a street it's, sweeper. Actually, they're on at 8 o'clock at night. Sweeper? Sweep up the snow or the leaves. The World Series games. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 What are you This is from you, Grandma. Oh, okay. That, that's a classic. Now this is a little pal for you to go to bed with. Daddy. Oh, a classic matchup. And they were comparing. Zach. You know when the Diamondbacks played oh. the Yankees. What did they say? They were comparing that I matchup with something. Well, the big news was Steve got engaged last night. Steve and Francis. Oh, really? That's fabulous news. Good for him. He's been going with her for some time. I met her in some areas. Great. And then the play, I mean, he beat McLean, so then Lois just Zach, why don't you take him over the by, the, by the blocks? Yeah. They can scoop up some blocks over yeah, there. Yeah, I guess his height is just having one death. Oh, you got, yeah. you got a miss from me. And a few of them stopped by 5770 John Ara. Yeah. That in the truck. Seat. On game day. Uh, Ricky Lotus used to ride his motorcycle up Van Dyke Avenue to Washington, yeah. Michigan. Yeah. Hey, what's that? What do you got for me? What did you find, Zach? to buy liquor from Larry Joseph, who was never Zach, there. let's see these trucks. Okay, let's see. I understand that they talk. Oh, okay. let's see. It's right. Scoop and Muck. Which one, which is this one? Okay, now how does he talk? Does he talk? Muck the dump truck. What does he say? I didn't hear that. I know, but he has to be down here today. Here, let me see. Okay, look at this is what this is how it works. Good. And then he talks. Here. Okay, then he goes further. Wait, wait, wait. Watch. And listen. All right. Now let's try this one. What's this one called? Who? Scoop? Okay. Which is the front and which is the back? I know, but which is the front and which is the back? Okay, now, I think what happens is this thing dumps into that, right? Does that move? I don't know. Cool! Look at this. It goes.
Nice to hang on the Christmas tree. Good to see you. Where are you, Zach? No problem. Come here. What'd you get there, Grandma Ida? A nice little snowman ornament from Zachary. It. See this? You can lift it up with this. Watch. Cool. And then what? Wait, 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 wait. What? And then bring it over there and dump it in. Linda, you need some help? He identified himself. He said they don't even have a hockey team in Cleveland. I know you like upstate water. Yeah. This is the matches of All right, let me see this one. Let me see this one. Nee 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 you know why? Because we're dumping it back in. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, get ready to dump it. Go ahead, dump it. All right, got to make the noise. Pretty good. Pretty good. So did... Uh, did Rick polish your shoes when he polished that? <laughs> Caillou. Caillou. So what's his so what's his story on politically correct PBS? He comes from Montreal. Actually. Oh really? It's so originally in French, but they ah. have it in English. And it's just a little kid who's four years old who has, you know, adventures and with his family. It's it's reality based, you know, sort of Zach, I think his hat does, it doesn't come off Zach. So does he get involved with ethnic diversity of Montreal? He has black friends, and uh, I'm sure there's Asians. Mm -hmm. They try and make it multicultural. Friend. Next door's house, and you learn how to use chopsticks. Right. Exactly. All right. Oh, I didn't know this thing. Zach, look at this. I didn't know this thing was here. This is like a front end loader. Oh, isn't this cute? Yeah. <laughs> One way to get. One way to get your mom to display a photo of your kid is give, give her a picture in a frame so she's happy. We're going to put your picture Can you say you're welcome? You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Dale un abrazo y un beso a Grandma Ida. I like this. Look at his nose. It's a carrot. Look at his nose. Look at his nose. It's a carrot. Lindy, you sure you don't need any help? Yeah, because I'm still short. You're welcome. I'm going to hang that on Grandma. Can you reach there? Can you hang it on the tree? Yeah, hang it on the little tree. Hang it on the Christmas tree. Oh, mira. Careful. Careful. Oh. <laughs> Put it up higher so it doesn't fall. What are the trucks going to do? This is some dirt. We're going to get some dirt? We need some dirt. The carpet's too clean. <laughs> well, if we look around, we can find some ladybugs. Yeah. <laughs> They're up in that kitchen. Oh, well, take... You gotta take that glass thing down, they're all messy. I was afraid of that. Ah! Totally unfair. Ah! I think they're waiting for everybody to come down. All right. Seth, what happened to your leg here? Start opening presents. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Mom. Demetria Post be shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like they've done it again. Or Here, go look in the mirror. Show Poppy. Mira me. Zachy, show Poppy. <gasps> what do you think? You like those? <laughs> We're actually going to have the ice chart. Already? I know. Oh. I think that's fine. Does he complain about not seeing the back, back actually? Poofed out. Oh, you're lefty, huh? Mm -hmm. No. No. Are you are you a Zachary? No. No? What do you say, Zach? Zachary? What do you say to Pat and Heidi? Truck! Yeah, truck! Can you say thank you for and the gift? And a shovel! And a shovel, yeah. It's a shovel. <laughs> Zach Joseph, can I be a Heidi Pat? Thanks. Thank you, Heidi. You're welcome.
welcome. Can you do you know all the things in there? What is that? What's that? A what that? Oh, that's what a comb. That? Scissors. He loves to read. I always tell people about how you would read to him in the beginning, and he really wouldn't yeah. cuddle or anything, and now it all paid off, and he's exactly. over. Yeah. He really cuddles with you, which is nice. Because people always laugh, they're like, yeah, I read, and the kid runs away. <laughs> Just keep trying. Yeah. yeah. You know, all those pictures, you are so smart. What's that? Spoon. So many nice pages of color. What's that, Zach? Purple <laughs> booster. <laughs> Alright, you know what if you keep if all right. Uh oh. Then that's the one you're gonna use right now. We're gonna put the rest away. They break pretty easy, huh? No. He enjoys yeah. breaking. No. Look like you broke pretty easy. It's just because he can. <laughs> Most of our crayons we break right away. Mm. Hey, should we put them in the box? How about black? How about how about that's, black? What's that black? What color is that? What color is that? Yeah, well, I don't know if the rest of the box is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Where's your mommy? She's, she's, she's getting on the movie so camera. Mommy, 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 what about Aunt Linda? She's always there. Zaki, puedes aplaudir para hacerlo cantar? <laughs> While we were playing the Cuba, did you see the Cuba CD that Martha got? Mira quién viene. Good morning, Trace. Zach, ¿dónde estás? ¿Con quién estás jugando, Zach? ¿Con quién, Zach? John? Hi, it's going good. Good. John, what'd you get for Christmas? Uh, Dreamcast and other toys. Wow. And you, Christine? Got a I got a pottery wheel and, and other stuff. Oh, it's a ghost. Cool. Can you throw it on the ground? Oh, let's try the Zach Roch. Zachary. Hi, Therese. Hi, John. What are you doing? Well, I'm setting up Copan because we want to play. Dad let you do that, John? It's Uncle Rex. Did Uncle Rex let you do that? Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, 
Hi, sweetheart. Merry Christmas, John. Yes. Christmas. And again, till he comes to visit again. Hi, Aunt Mary Bye. Beth. Hi, John. Merry Christmas. Yeah. How are you? Do you have the whole week off? Tomorrow? Hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. Hi, John. Hi. Hi, Christine. Wow. Can you turn your head around? Wow. Are you okay? Shit. I know it was. Hi, Zach. Hi. Are you having an orange? I wish I'd read it. I wish I'd read it. Oh, that's a good song. Yes. Because things I have. Oh, I think I'll do the shelves, huh? <laughs> Hi, Christine. Okay, that's why I'm on skin buffer. So. Just take I zoomed in on you. <laughs> you should have seen her. Oh, that's hilarious. The camera's on. Oh, and. Right, you know what's on. Hi, Joe. I don't know. He understands everything I say to him. Hi, Uncle Rick. a little bit, mostly all English stuff. Zachy, salute a Steven. Hola, Steven. Steven. Pregúntale a Steven. ¿Qué, qué es lo que agarro de Santa Claus? Oh, bow. John's bow. We aren't going to touch John's bow, okay? That's a cool bow. Okay? I'm going to put it away. Zach got a couple Lego pieces he got from the box. It's the most annoying it. sound ever. Zach likes to say, Zach, ¿puedes cantar la canción de Bob the Builder? <laughs> Bob oh. Builder, can we? No, Hi, Trees. Hi, John. Do it to you. They always do it. They do it automatically when you get a. Did you guys have to buy a new phone? Like, at our book. What do you mean you're like Danny? I haven't seen that kid in a while. Hey, guys. Playing Tony Hawk. No, we're in sweaters. I clearly won. See, they do the score in like golf. Whoever's the lowest score. I was under par. <laughs> You're like double bogey. Let's do the school level or whatever. John, turn off the camera. <laughs> Me lo das a mí? Gracias, Zach. Okay. This is for you, for me and Bob. This is for Bob, too. Merry Christmas, Zach. Merry Christmas, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Zachary from See, Bob you got some and Sarah. Old stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We can put on the Beatles one later if you're interested. Maybe I'll get the Beatles a rest. I know you like Rubber Soul as your favorite album. Then Rubber Soul oh, yeah. might be my favorite album. It might be. You might have said it. It might be said at one point, I remember. Oh, I did. <laughs> then that still might be the case. I know you like that song, uh, Girl. Isn't that off Rubber Soul? Maybe, or, uh, or, uh, Oh, you think so? Do you think it's a book? Norwegian Wood. So the other one? Not to be confused with Norwegian Woody. Ah. That's another story. Oh, 
Oh, it is a book. book. <laughs> it's it's not, not one book. No one knows it. How many books is it? Zach, Mira. Wow. Que le dices? The same Norwegian wood. Norwegian wood. Zach, que emoción. Good tip. 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 Um, there's a few titles I can't share with you in polite company. Oh, all right, they won't even. Zachy, dile a mommy, que te trajo Sarah y Bob y Tim. Zach, we are going to have some for Later, buddy, later. Zach, we are going to have some for Later. Dessert. We are definitely. You want to hold it? You want to hold it for one okay. second. There you go. You're okay. down holding it. All right. Okay. Zach, okay. Uh, Gracias. Que mas hay en la bolsa, Zach? No, after dinner, we'll have these. Zachary. Zachary, que mas hay en la bolsa? What's in it? Help me open this. Help me open this. Is this your hair? No. Oh. <laughs> Look like that. Zachy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, isn't that nice? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> a Look at this lovely. Earth That's because you guys are always very close to our hearts. Created by hand from the original design, sculpted by artist Perrin Collery, inspired by nature, the cosmos, and other pagan objects. <laughs> Is that yo? Is that as your own creates, insertion? No, she creates tiles and mosaics that combine sophisticated whimsy with exquisite oh, design. I like this. Oh, that is sharp. They're kind of coordinated. All are suitable nice for hanging your installation in or out of doors. Let the beauty we love be what she would do. No, be what we would do. <laughs> Just a little. That's okay. It's all right to offend your conservative Catholic sensibilities the name once of in a the while. Creator and of the child. Absolutely. What's the third one? And of the. Well, and of the sanctificator, or something like that. <laughs> What's that? Once the president of the sodality, always the president. <laughs> you know? To Jesus through Mary, not to Mary through Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you got it. But got it. <laughs> to Sarah White. Oh my goodness, look at all this. This is a. Oh, I know. Well, we can, you know, is this the party? Oh, it's a Gosh, this, this, this basket is just a party in itself. It mm -hmm. is. Even this the is, tea. This is cool. Look at that. That's a tea. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, Very nice. Look at that. Zeki, ¿les puedes decir Feliz Navidad? Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas, Zach. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas too. Merry Christmas, Mama. Thank you, Zachary. Yeah, sure. Don't mind if I do. Oh! <laughs> Camped out at the dip. Que emoción, verdad, Zach? your first cousin once removed Lawrence Joseph? Yes. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty safe if you ask yes or no questions. Is it? Verdad, Zachy? Ah! Uh. Monopoly restricted. Um, <laughs> The odds of landing on Illinois Avenue are greater than the odds of landing on Boardwalk. True or false? Oh, that's great. That is a very good question. Well, the the one that are, are, are higher or greater? Yeah. Are greater than the odds of landing on Boardwalk. Now, obviously, the one they want you to say is is false. That it's that. They want, reason says the natural answer is boardwalk, right? Um, yeah. The so first instinctual reaction would be boardwalk, so we're going to say it's Illinois. And it's therefore true? And it is true. All right. Your answer? It's true. It is true. True. If only the dice were involved, all spaces would have equal probability, but various cards and other rule changes, rules change the odds. A simulation showed that Illinois Avenue is the space landed on most frequently. 
so who can get you to guess the answer on the back by acting out silent clues just like charades. I'll read the hint aloud and start the timer after I pass the card to the actor. Hint. Thing. You got this back on music. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Tim, you've got to guess. I know I'm participating as well. I can make sounds with no words. No, no, you cannot you can't make, make sounds. Soundless. Motion. Soundless. This is a straight charade, right? Yes, straight charade. Okay. How many words? One word. What am I supposed to do with Steering wheel. Driving. Driving car. car. Uh, car seat. Jeep. Um, truck. Cab. Car window. That's all right. Car. How many syllables are in this word? Four. Mountain terrain. You're driving over bumps. Is car part of the word? Okay. Which syllable is? First syllable is car. Caterpillar. Car. Carpenter. <laughs> Car brakes. Carburetor. Very good, Sarah. Carburetor. Very good. How'd you guess that? Person who can get you to guess the answer on back by acting like this famous person or character. Controversial. The actor should mimic their speech and actions, but say no names of people or places. I'll start the timer after I pass the card to the actor. Okay, right. Okay, are you doing it? Well, we're, oh, li we're living in a great prosperity. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Sorry. Spell this word below on the first try. I'll start the term with timer after I read the word to the speller. The word is Pharaoh. P H A R O A H. <laughs> it's, uh, it's O. A O H. Ah, I thought it was Head. Wheel. Head, sure. Hair. Eyebrows. Mouth. Oh, scream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout. Sing. Yell. Woo! Sing. Scream. Uh, ululate. Um. <laughs> uh, cry. Yawn. Got it. Tim Joseph. <laughs> That's a darn good yawn. You like my that yawn? That looks like a yawn. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're Sorry, Donnie. Mm. Back in black. <laughs> <laughs> see, you see, yeah. I would have never known that. I would either. You know, you're no, wonderful. Never know that. You're saying it. Richard, I got it. Have you ever seen it? Never in a million years. He's only seen Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Whoa. 1980. All right. Okay, come on, Mark. A tube, a snake, a dragon, a uh, snail, a uh, an eel. An eel. Uh, an insect. An insect. <laughs> a caterpillar. A. Uh, Ooh. A, a worm, a dragon, a sphinx, a uh, uh, a pool, a uh, <laughs> toothbrush. <laughs> Mark's bread. Mark's bread. High five, Mark. Nice. <laughs> Choose one person who can get you to guess the answer on back by drawing clues on paper with no peeking, talking letters or symbols. The artist's eyes must stay closed. I'll start the timer after I pass the card to the artist. Okay. What's the hint? Oh, concept. Concept. Oh, great. <laughs> concept. <laughs> Rick, Rick, I, we're going to need you. This isn't going to happen. Can you do this? Can you do this? Ready? Here, here, here. Go. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, One way. Question. No symbols. 
Oh, oh. Those are most of Okay, yeah, why don't we uh, turn, <laughs> turn this over? Here, you, here's, here's a... <laughs> um... <laughs> blind, I have to do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what they say. Point of no return. Uh... Uh-uh. Cons. Point of the... Infinity. Uh, what a <laughs> That's it. Robert Zimmerman is known to most fans as... Bob Dylan, Robert Smith, Bob Marley, Danny Eckerman, or Mickey Mouse. Bob Dylan. <laughs> All right. I know it's right. Donald Duck, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mickey. Proper name. I'll give you that much. It's a person. It's a proper name. It's not. Is there more, just one word? Yeah. One word. One word. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, Tim. Just shut up. I know what it is. One word. The thinker. A priest. A bishop. A pope. Uh, 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 uh. Jesus. Jesus. God. God. Uh, 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 uh. Sounds like. Sounds like. Uh. Kit. Um. Kit. Uh, Moses? Evangelist! <laughs> uh, 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 a preacher! Uh, 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 a preacher! Evangelist! Uh, 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 uh. I screwed this up. Evangelist! Preacher! Uh, That's it. Uh, a minister! Close. Missionary. Oh. I don't know. What should I have done with that? Miss? I don't know. I don't that know. was a tough one. What you okay. Um, I'll read the hint aloud and start the timer after I pass the card to the actor. The hint to your team is that it's an animal. Okay. An animal. animal. Okay. Yeah. Alright. There's what you gotta act out on the mark. Give them, you know. How many words? One okay. word. How many One syllables? Word. How many syllables? One syllable. One syllable. Arbar. Pig. <laughs> Cat. Rub. Snake. Snake. Is this a sounds like? Uh, uh, Clean. Pet. Pet. Rub. Rep. 